This is the plaintiff, Maria Vasquez. She says she hired the defendant to edit and publish a book she wrote about her life story. And the woman changed things around to where she barely recognized it as her own. She also posted the book for sale on Amazon. The profits go directly to her bank account, and she's being ripped off. She's suing for $1,850, the amount she's out, plus emotional distress. This is the defendant, Shonda Muse. She says she published the plaintiff's book through her Amazon publishing account, and the author and Amazon split the profits 70-30. She charged the woman $450 for her services. The plaintiff's manuscript was in poor Spanish and broken English, and she deserves to be paid every penny of her fee and owes the plaintiff zero. She's accused of making too many changes. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $950 for lost wages coming to the court today. All parties, please use your right hand. People's court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Marilyn Williams now presiding. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Your Honor. Okay, Ms. Vasquez, you are yes. suing Ms. Muse Dickerson for $1,850. You say she owes you. You are counterclaiming $950 that you say she owes you. How was it that you came upon Ms. Muse, and what was it you had hired her to do? Um, she was referred to me by a professor from our college. Okay. And she told me about her, that she published some books, because my professor knew I wanted to, you know, I wrote my son's story. And was, uh, your son's story is what? He was murdered in 2006. Very so. sorry about that. And how old was he when he was murdered? He was 17. Okay. Um, what was he shot for? How did the shooting happen? What bickering happened? Bickering between the girl and the girl's boyfriend. They were all friends. They were drinking. And, you know, one thing happened, led what, to another. What time of the night or day did that happen? Well, they were partying at a birthday party, and then the next morning. So like is afternoon. it known who shot him? <clears throat> yes. Did the police know who shot him? Mm -hmm. Was anyone ever charged? Why not? Nope, he's still in court because nobody came up. A witness, the witness that right, was but then how does anybody there, know who shot your son? Because I got to see the person who was there before I left in the morning, and people on the block, somebody came and they so testified. people talked, but they wouldn't talk to the police. Right. So that's how you know who it was and what happened, but none of them would come forward to the police. Did yeah. you give the police the name of the witnesses who had talked to you? Or was it just rumor that you were hearing? No. Um, I said certain names to the officers, but it's more, more deeper than that. It goes further than that. Okay. So. No one was ever arrested. Mm -mm. So you wanted to write your son's story? Yes. All right. In so remembrance you... of him and the kind of young man that he was. Okay. And, you know, the journey we shared together. Okay. So your professor tells you about her that she has self-published, correct? And she was going to help you self-publish on Amazon. Yes. All right. So what happens? You meet her and you agree that you're going to pay her how much? Yes. Um, she said initially it was $500. Then she said she was going to give me a discount for $50 for 450 Okay. When I went to her the first time, I paid her $250. Like that, I gave it to her. I wasn't even thinking about what was on the paper okay. at that time. My main concern was the book, getting right. the book done. And then I, how much did you pay her after the book? Another $250. Okay, but why, if the price was $450, why'd you pay $500? I still didn't know that until after I got to see the paperwork. I don't understand. You know that she's charging you $450 because you just told me she told you. You know that you're paying her 500 because you just told me you did. You mean you forgot? Yes. Okay. Uh, did she pay you 500 or 450? Paid me 450. Do you have evidence you paid 500? I gave her cash. Did you get a receipt? No. Because cash shouldn't leave this hand without a receipt going into this hand. Right. All right. So now let's talk about what happened. Um, the amount that you paid her was supposed to cover what? For it said on this contract that we wrote. Yep. She was supposed to. 
Let me see that. It was supposed to be for the book, mm-hmm. and she was supposed to put it on Kindle and the uh, ebook. Okay. Shonda will provide publishing services in the form of word processing, book, and cover design, publishing on Amazon.com, and print and ebook. Client will have full access to her book portal as well as full control over marketing and royalties. Client will pay $450. The amount of $225 is due upon signing and commencement of agreement. At the completion of the book, the remainder of the $450 must be paid. And according to you, she only paid you $450. And in fact, your contract on the bottom says you paid $225. It doesn't say you paid two fifty that first day. All right. So you give her your written book, and is it her job to edit? No, because I did it all. Okay. I had given it to her already. She didn't have to do much. Okay, no, she, but d- when you say she didn't have to do much, what did she have to do? Did you ask her to read it and correct things or anything else? No, I didn't. I said she read it, and she said because us Hispanic, we write the way we talk. So she had to rechange. I know that may sound offensive and maybe it's supposed to, but it, it's actually true. So. You know, right? Like we revert. We sometimes speak the way you would say it in Spanish, where the uh, noun and the verb are reversed and it's, you know, from having English as our second language. But in any event, were you supposed to edit? No. But then the- why did you? Because she's mad that you edited. Uh, she actually was very pleased that I edited her okay. and her daughter that's with her today. Okay. When they came back to my house after the manuscript was put into book form, they actually were happy that I edited okay, it. Okay, so stop a second. They went to your house when? Uh, this is on the second time. They, they, both came, they both came the second time after the manuscript was put into word processing form and ready to be published. She came with her daughter that time. And that's when I expressed to both of them that I had did extensive editing on her novel because it was a little, you know, the words were a little not in the right tense, the okay. English to speak. And so did she approve your changes? She told me, Shonda, I trust your That's judgment. lovely. Did you get that in writing? No, I didn't. Because that sh- is your business. You're supposed okay. to get that in writing, right? Okay, but I do have text messages saying ex- with her expressing how pleased she Let was me see with that. the book. That's okay? after she read your changes? Right. Let me see that. Okay. But you sh- your policy should be to have people sign an approval before you, you send it right. to be published. It, okay. it takes one second for them to sign, and then you never find yourself in this position again, right? Right. Right. Actually, I'd like to see it in your phone rather than on a piece You're of paper. Back, okay, sure. Yeah, because no I like problem. scrolling up and down. Sure, no problem. Did you text her that you were very happy with her changes? Ms. Vasquez? Um, just a uh, part of the scriptures. Did you ever text her, I don't like your changes, why did you change my story? All right, so no. then why are you complaining now and suing her for it if you never complained back then? She knew how sensitive I told her. I went by her word. She's supposed to be an Wait, editor. Did you, I'm sorry. Did you read what she edited or didn't you? No, I didn't. Why wouldn't you? D- I'm sorry. I don't understand that because if the book is, is going to be published, I would expect you to want to read what's being published because you went by her as an editor. That means you knew she was going to change something. Why wouldn't you look at that and make sure you're happy with it before it gets published? Why? Because you trusted her? Unfortunately, okay, then how do you get to complain later that you want your her um, feedback because you don't like what she did when you finally got around to reading it? Why wouldn't you read it? How many pages is this? How many pages 80. is it? Yeah, it's 80 pages. How long would that take you to read? She says you did, and your daughter did too. No, that you came didn't. over her house, and that the two of you read it and were happy. Did you go over her house and read it? No, I looked at the cover. What are you doing right now? I'm right. looking. Hold this on. is the day. This is what she showed me. Okay, this is the right, but when you there. were there, did you also, because there's a manuscript for you to read, did you read it or no? No, I didn't read it. Stop. I just looked at I'll, it. I'll be with you in a second. I held it and I was crying at her table. Okay, well, why didn't you read it before it was going to be published? I told her it was hard for me. Okay, I, that's fine, but then why are you complaining later if you didn't read it? This is what, oh, that's the cover. But let me see the text where she says, according okay, to you. Okay, let me just show you. Thank you so much. I love it as can it I is. Can I please see it? Hand yeah, it to my yes, bailiff. Yes, and you can scroll up Thank to see you. more. Thank you. Hi, Shonda, I just got the book. Shonda, thank you so much. I love it as it is. Did you text that? I did. This. Okay, then what's the problem? That's the proof copy. Uh, please stop. Yes, I'm sorry. What is the problem? If you're telling her you love it after you read it, why are you telling me now that you want your feedback because you hate it? 
and you never gave her authority to change all these things. You're also suing for royalties. Tell me what happened with the royalties. Well, that she it ended changed up the bank numbers. The account she was supposed to transfer her information to mine, the account. That was the agreement. She when was it. she put, okay. Why was it ever in her name to begin with? Because I wasn't too good at doing that. I'm still not good at working the computer. Okay. So, so um, how's your daughter at working the computer? Okay, so what you're telling me is that you asked for it to be open under her account because you're not good at computers. No, well, she said, we're going to do it through my account first. And then later and transfer then it to you. And it did get transferred to you later, right? No, it did not. I never got access to it. What happened there? Explain to me what happened. The way that I do things is, as the person who's generally initially working on the book, I would publish it in my profile. Oh, you always do that? I always do that for all my authors. Okay. Because it's easier for me. Each time, each step, you... They send an email, a two-factor email. Oh, I hate that. So dual each, verification. Right. You can't two, move forward. Dual verification. So Because it's such a state secret. Whatever, yes. you know, uh, somebody's trying to tell me that, you, that they... I'm like, seriously, <laughs> just email it, you know? All right. So each step, I would have to get... Right, so you do it under your so account until the mine. book is published, and then Okay, what? and she was okay with that because she said she didn't have a KD account, she didn't want to go through that. Way. Yeah, she I got told it. Me. So that, and then the, you, the idea is what? That you'll transfer it to after, her? Right. Okay, okay, did you? Yes, I did. I and did you and send her the, the, the username and password so she could go in? She, we actually created one together while she was at my house. And did created, that not happen? Did you not create a, an it account? Did. It oh, did. It's and here. then. So what are you saying she didn't mm -hmm. transfer? She didn't transfer because here it says the Amazon, this is stating that the bank stuff was changed. Okay, let's she see what you're talking about. Because I, what did, do you know what she's talking about? No, I don't. Okay, hold on. Because I, I don't have any access to her bank stuff. Okay, hold on. So while it's in your name, if any sales happen, there's a royalty contract between Amazon and the pub and the, the author. Okay. And it's what is it, 7030 Amazon? Correct. Right. Okay. So did anybody buy books while it was in your name? Yes. How many people? Three. Three books I were have purchased. The proof here. At the price of what? Uh $17.99, which she set the price at. Okay. So uh, you agree that you owe her a commission for those three Twenty-five dollars and thirty-two cents. I have the proof from Amazon here. What okay, they have you paid up. that? No, I haven't. Why not? Because litigation had already come in. Okay. So that money went into your account, right? right? What I want to know is, did you ever change the account that this book was attached to to her bank account, or did she change it? To her portal. That's what her... day did that happen? This happened uh, the end of July. Okay. Are we talking about July 14th? Yes. Now, do you have proof that it got changed out of your portal to her portal July 14th? Yes, I sent her an email right here. Let me see that. Okay, but this is August 8th, not July 14th. I had been attempting to do it before August 8th. But as you can see from Amazon, they send an email to the author whose person's portal is in. She has to then follow that link to make the book live. So this did is... you ever make the book live? I, the... No. Why not? She was the one that was in charge of all that. She I'm said, sorry, I'm I'll seeing here where she that. says your book is live, and then she sends you this stuff. Um, so what, what does she have to do in order to make it live? She has to check her email. She has to follow the link that they send her to uh, approve the book, to say it's live. This is why I do it in my portal first. Well, if you had already done... Hadn't you already done it then? Yes, the book was published. The book was live. Okay, so what did your text mean that your book is live? What did you mean? It's now live in her portal. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. The, is this your phone? This is my phone, yeah. Yeah. You can look down. So she sends you a text... There is no book up here. There's nothing on the KDP. What's a KDP? That's the uh, portal Kindle. we use to publish. Well, a K What's KDP stand for? Uh, Amazon uh, Kindle, Kindle Direct, Direct Publishing. Publishing. Kindle Direct Publishing. Right. Uh, where is the email from the Kindle Direct Publisher with the account information about book? You answer her the next day. Maria, I didn't have my phone with me yesterday. I came home to all your nasty messages. Going through a little crisis at the moment. We'll do the transfer this weekend. Sorry for the inconvenience, and please stop leaving me nasty messages. Was she leaving you 
voicemail messages. Okay, sorry for thinking of it. Please stop leaving me nasty messages. I will not stoop to that level. I will take care of your project, however. Thank you and good day to you. Except for that three days later, she says, it's the weekend and I haven't heard from you with the transfer of my book. And you say, I am attempting, and then three days after that, that's a week later, I am attempting to transfer your manuscript. It appears you changed your password on the account we set up. I can't transfer anything without your active KDP account. Please make another one and send me the information so I can transfer your book and be done with your thug blank. I see why you have a criminal background. You don't know how to deal with people. Fix your account and I'll transfer you. Why did it get to that? Why did it get to be so nasty? Because of the messages she left me. What was she leaving you? She was just leaving me. What did you do with my book? What did you do with my money? She was. Just, she sounded inebriated. I mean, and messages kept coming, and that's why I told her I wasn't going to respond to her because I know. But isn't it easier if you just transfer the book and just tell her I need your password to transfer the book I and did. just maintain that's what, things civil that's what instead I did. of saying to her in writing, I, I, "I would like to be done with your thug behind." Yeah, because she was acting like a thug. And well, from all the information that I had writing in her book, I had knowledge of her propensity to violence. Well, I can't, but her money was green enough for you when you took her book. So all of a sudden you're offended by that? No, I'm not right. offended by anything. This is the credentials anything. we I'm set up. None of them work. Behavior. You can create a new one and text me because I don't want to talk to you ever again, dear. Your social skills suck. I am not a thug. I do not have a criminal background. Thank you. I paid you for services and you've been dragging and changing things out. All right, so you give her a new password. No, and then it got done? She gave me a new password. She gave you a new password and then it got and done? And then it got done. Okay, here's, she, I see her giving you a new password. Right. But I don't see where, do you have any proof that it got yes, done, that it got, the book got transferred? I do. This is uh, the paperback right here, Judge, and this is the e-book. That's in her portal. Okay, but that's a screenshot. I need to see that it's in her portal. Like, right here. Uh, we can pull up the Amazon Yeah, let's account, do that. Can we do know? that? We can pull up the Amazon uh, account. Can we do that? And then, do you know her username? Uh, I know her username, but she changed her password. Again? So, yeah. So, I, I cannot even get into her. What's your password? Yeah, I see the password you sent her. Did you change it after that, yes or no? I don't think so. You don't think so? You would know if you changed it or not. So. Log in right now. I want to see if the book is there un under your account or not. And, uh, and you actually send her congratulations. This is an email that you got from KDP saying that your book is now live and available for purchase. Yes. Maria. Yes. I'm looking at the text you sent her telling her, great, it's up, it's live. I, you know, now, and then you say, now what? No, that was the old one, because I got more paperwork here from after, from July Okay, on. but that's between you and Kindle, because you asked for it to be transferred to your account. If you don't know how to deal with the, you know, emails of it, that's, you know, with digital stuff, that's up to you. You asked for it to be transferred, and I'm seeing where you send her proof that it was successfully transferred. So what does she do wrong? And she tells you, you say, okay, so now what? Now that you've gotten this letter saying it was transferred, she says, please approve the notification you just received. That means your book is live. Approve the alert you just received so I can make sure everything is good. Oh, jeez. All right. So you are suing her for what? Let's go over your lawsuit. You want $500 refunded to you, which is, I can only see that you paid her $225. And then I have no evidence of what you paid her later, but she says it was another 225. Mm -hmm. You want 400 estimated for royalties, but I have all the paperwork from Amazon that says that it's $25 in royalties. So, and then 950 for emotional distress. And I'm still receiving stuff. To stay Let me that see what you're receiving. The book is not active. Okay, but th but it, I can see because you sent her the proof that it got transferred to your account. So if it's not active, it's a you problem. It's not a her no, problem. It's the first one. We checked your files and found issues you need to fix before your book can be published. Update the ISBN in your manuscript so it matches the ISBN you entered during setup. Which I did not. She did. She right. So did anybody that. fix that? We did that. That was no. all done. No, it's not. And my look, I, look but at see, stop now. talking. This this is an email she sends to you. She forwards it. Well, she gets this email August 9th. Right from Amazon because now the book is in her portal. So now she has to do all of these things because it's now in her portal. 
The reason I kept it in mind is so, so what does she do what does she of... need to do if she gets these two? This is what I want to know. If right. these two, she gets these two emails, what's she supposed to do? Create Click a new on the link and approve her book. Yeah, but then not... why are they sending her these? Because she did that. This is when it's in the proof stage and they want to tell you what to fix before they make it Well, how's it she going to fix that, though? Because she doesn't know what, how to match, uh, you know, I, I, what's the, le the letters for the, that's the code for the book. It's, a, it's the ISBN. They right. just want to make sure the ISBNs are, you Right, know, but when would same. she have entered an ISBN incorrectly? She doesn't. So why is there a discrepancy with the ISBN? Because when it was in my portal, it had one ISBN, and when it went to her portal, it has a, it, so it, how does this get? Just tell me ISBN. how this gets fixed, what, what you're looking you at. You can just click it on Amazon KDP. It asks you, do you want a free ISBN? That's all she ha would have had to do. Okay, get on your, your portal, right. and we're going to do this right now in front of me. Let's get, get on your portal, uh, Maria. I'm trying to get Okay, in. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. While she's looking for that, you're suing for $950 for lost wages. I lost two days of hay to come here for this frivolous lawsuit. We were working together. We were amicable towards Yeah, but can I just another. tell you something? When, let me tell you something that I tell my mm -hmm. daughters all the time. Say it, okay. forget it, write it, regret it. When someone calls you upset and has been through what this lady has been through, you just let it slide. Like you're a duck and you're, you have wet feathers and you let it slide. Right. But when you put in writing, you're a thug. And all that, that, that burns a lot more to the other side. And, and you're the professional and she's the distraught mother. So really, you know, you know what I'm saying? You kind of, I do. yeah. I get it. I learned right. a few things here too. All right. You know? On your lost wages, that's just because you got sued, but... Um, you're not really entitled to lost wages every time you get sued. Imagine if you were a brain surgeon, you came in here and asked for $30,000. All right. Were you able to get in? Yes. Okay. Let's see what it says here, and let's see if we can solve it. Okay. I'm going to show you this, and what do you think is wrong with this? Because I see it up. That's just a candle. This one's no longer up there anymore. Which, this is what? The paperback says it's in draft form. She has to approve it. Okay, you're gonna do it right now. I'm, I'm gonna hand you the phone and you're just gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna figure this out right now because this is nonsense. Let's just get it done and get okay. your business over with. Right, update the ISBN number in your manuscript so that it matches the ISBN you entered during setup. Perfect. Okay. So yes. how do we do that? I can fix that. I know you're going above and beyond that it, this isn't your job. I'm asking you just to make it your yeah, job right I'm now and let's get it right. done. I've been trying to make it right with I, her. I, let's okay. just do what I'm asking. Let's get the ISBN numbers corrected. Update in your manuscript. So, so I would have to go back into the actual manuscript and make this, take this number out and put this number in. Okay. That's and are you able to do that or no? I can't do it right, All right here. You know what? You guys are going to do this on your okay. own time because i got a bunch of other cases stacking okay. up. So you're going to do that for me, yeah, right? As a personal person. favor to Judge yes, Leon. All right. No problem. I got it. That's going to happen that. before you leave. I'm not going to order. No, we can stop now. I am not going to order her to refund your money. She earned her keep. Uh, and I, it's obvious from all of your texts that she earned her keep. I'm going to order her to pay you the, t how much was it? 25 what? 92. 25.92 in royalties that Amazon says you've earned. I'm sorry if your book didn't sell more books. And I'm not going to order $950 for emotional distress. On your lost wages claim, I think I explained that to you, so that's zero also. And I am begging you, before you leave, just fix that little manuscript ISBN number, and then you're both done with each other. You have How's a that? computer uh, and yeah, everything? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll set you up with a computer <laughs> and a satellite dish and a moon landing and whatever else you need. Good Thank luck. You. All right. Okay. Uh, Maria, let me ask you how you feel about what just went on in the courtroom and all the help the judge has been giving you. What do you think? It was good. You know, my you know, she's going to be responsible for getting this book out in the public. Yes. You, you understand that? Yes. All right. Has anybody, to your knowledge, anyone else read the book? Yes. What's the reaction been, to your knowledge? They, they like the book. They do? Mm -hmm. All right. That's a plus. Yes. Well, listen, good luck to you. I, you really owe the judge a big favor here because she's doing her best to get your book out there. Yes. Okay. Okay? Right. Yep. Good luck to Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, the lady who has really tried to make it possible for this book to get out there, let's talk to Ms. Muse. Ma'am, what do you think about what the judge just did in the courtroom in this case? I think talk to me it about was, it. the judge was fair. 
And she only did what I've been trying to do all along, was get this book out for this lady, you know, so she can have her publication, what she paid her four fifty for. And that's all I've been trying right. to do. Let me let me ask you, you edited the, the book. You yes, did I read did. it and edited it, right? Yes, I did. What do you think of it? What's your reaction? Is it good? Uh, I thought it was a hot mess. She's been through a lot. That's what I think about her book. Well, listen, thank you very much. Anyway, you, uh, you've you learned a lot here thank today, so I'm much. sure. Okay? Yes. You're very, very welcome. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there's an example of what it's like to self-publish a book, Harvey. A lot of people have a lot of problems. What do you think? Doug, maybe the most common question that I get about small claims court from people is, if you go and you win, can you get money for appearing in court? In other words, you have to take time off, maybe a day off or a half day off to show up in court. Can you get the equivalent of your salary for showing up if you win? The answer, no. One exception. Expert witnesses can be paid for their time. That is compensable in many cases, but if you're just... You're a garden variety litigant, and you have to take time off. It's just the cost of justice. The question is, have you ever been electrocuted? I think the better question is, have I ever been shocked? Okay. Because yeah, electrocuted sure. actually means, it it's, comes from two words, electro for electric and executed from execution. Right. So you got to right. be either killed or really seriously injured right. to have been electrocuted. Okay. So but have yeah. you ever been oh shocked? Oh my God. More times than I can count. Yeah. I get shocked. I get usually uh, monkeying around with things around the house. The first time I got shocked, I was three years old and I shoved the scissors into an outlet. As in one house. does. Right. As Where were your parents old. when that happened? I can't remember. But, okay. but you know, there was like black paint or rubber on the handle. So all the lights went off in the house and the fuse is blue, but I was okay. And the tip of the scissors melted. <laughs> wow. But then uh, let's see, once when I was changing out um, a switch at a, at a house that we owned, I turned off the breaker, so oh, the, kind power, of this. the power was off right. to, the, to the switch. But I didn't know there's this thing called a, a, a borrowed neutral or a shared neutral line that you can still get shocked when the breaker is off to a given uh, outlet in certain circumstances. So from that, I learned to stay in my lane and not try to do stuff I wasn't really sure about. <laughs> I don't know. About. I still think you do right. stuff you're not sure oh, yeah, about. Yeah, all but the time. All the time. Right. I almost blew up my pinball machine the other day. Yeah, I remember. I that's right. I puff of smoke and I blew out <laughs> one of the resistors or something.